from a standpoint of credibility, you know, we, you and I talked about having the capacity to do something, having a commitment to use that capacity, and communicating that commitment about the capacity. Could you share with us a little bit about what you intend to do in terms of restoring America's position in the world? Well, as I, as I indicated also in the opening statement, we are dealing from a position of strength, and so the only reason we're not perceived uh, to be there with our strength is because we're, we're not asserting uh, that strength uh, in these issues. Uh, so it does begin with reengaging with friends and allies, uh, reconnecting with them that, that our commitment is to the stability of the region, uh, that if there are existing uh, commitments and agreements in place, that we fully intend to, to fulfill those. And then developing a strategy in the region to deal with the most imminent threat. Uh, it, it means projecting the strength of our U.S. military might, but hopefully not having to use it uh, in terms of uh, trying to persuade countries to change their course of action. Uh, but in the case of the most immediate threat of ISIS, it, is, it involves can we construct a, new, a renewed coalition uh, that using the forces that are already there, including the Syrian Kurds, which have been our greatest allies, uh, that we recommit to the Syrian Kurds that we intend to continue to support you with the capability to continue the advance on, uh, on Raqqa and then build coalition forces that can contain ISIS if it attempts to move into the other parts of the country and, and eliminate them from uh, Syria to begin. I think the effort in Iraq is progressing. Uh, hopefully it will progress to a successful conclusion as well in terms of removing the caliphate uh, from ISIS.